Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Rifts. So today is the day we go through our inventory bags, all that fun stuff, our mail, and go through all the rewards. But before we begin, uh, giveaway. Uh, so yeah, the contest, congratulations everyone. If, if the keys aren't distributed right away, they should be out there within the, the day or so uh, to the five winners. Um, with the site, it automatically does that magic stuff, so uh, it's, it's out of my uh, fingers at that point. Congratulations. Um, we're giving out another five of the mounts, and I'll show you what the mount looks like in today's episode, actually, uh, so you'll get an idea what it looks like and the speed buff and stuff I was talking about in the first episode. Uh, but yeah, congratulations everyone. So, um, we're going to continue on here and uh, let's see here. Uh, I did some fishing because I wanted it to be a bit more daytime. So if we type in slash time, it's now 6 a.m. So uh, I did a bit of fishing just outside of the town. And I thought one of the first things we can do is go ahead and we'll vendor things. Uh, well, I'm not going to vendor it, actually. I'm going to use the auction house, and I'm going to sell it. Now, apparently the auction house has been souped up quite a bit in Rift. It's it's pretty badass. I think they have to, like, buy and sell orders and everything. Well uh, so let's check it out. Yeah, like, like, browse buy orders, create a buy order. How cool is that? I think that's beyond amazing. Um... Bravo! Bravo! We should give him a clap. I think that is awesome. I'm surprised to see, you know, an MMO, like this type of MMO, really do a good job with the auction house system. I'm sure there's still, you know, some people are upset. There's probably faults here and there. Just like in any game, there's always something that's not perfect, but, uh, Personally, I think that's quite awesome. Uh, I'm very happy with it anyways. Uh, so we're, what we're going to do is, oh, this searches for the browse. Um, as far as I know, when you search on, you play, paste something on crate, uh, it'll go lower than the lowest one on here. So if we were to put it in here, uh, well, we could search for it. Burlap cloth. Burlap cloth. Um... If you search for the lowest unit price, it's 311, and I think it tried to create it at 310, right? Yeah. So it will basically undercut the lowest on the uh, the market. Now, that's just for the one. The next one is 512, So, uh, and then it jumps up again. So you have to keep that in mind. Some of these prices might not be worth it. Now, has this person been putting this burlap cloth on a very long time as well? So once again, maybe it's not worth it. Uh, you know, selling it at a certain uh, price. But either way, you get an idea of uh, what things go for. So I'm going to go ahead and put it as, uh, you know what, I, it probably won't hurt. Let's put it as five, and there you go, a bit more. We'll only do it for 12 hours, cheap for us and cheap for them, I guess. Uh, I guess you can go like this. Now, I don't know how this works, so I can do this and see the price here. Um, and then when I put it on here, can I do that? Oh yeah, I can. Cool. I think that might be easier because you can see multiple prices. For these, it probably won't matter as much because uh, these are the collection items, which I think you get something called lucky coins for them when you do it. Um, I'm not really worried about the lucky coins at this point. Wow, that one goes for 9 platinum. If it were to sell, this one almost a plat. Um, but it's more for... Uh, I, you know, for a newbie like me, it's probably worth it because I can get bigger bags and stuff over time. Uh, later on, I probably would want lucky coins. I would probably want to keep some of these. But for now, being a newbie, I think it's worth doing what I'm doing and selling them rather than using them. But, uh, of course, everyone is each to their own in a sense, right? So uh, might not be worth it. I'm going to sell the potions. If they don't sell, I'll just vendor them. That's kind of the, the key I find in life. Sell it no matter what, because if it doesn't sell, you can just vendor it, because I'm not going to use these little minor buffs, not at this stage. Now, this probably goes for something, but I'd rather keep it, since I earned that through a quest. Now, we might be able to buy it later on, but uh, worth keeping. Now, this is a dimensional item. I'm going to keep that as well. We'll get rid of these guys here. Now, I noticed these gathering materials. Oh, that's seven gold. That's not so bad. They don't seem to go for a lot, but maybe over time they will. Cracked rib cage. Uh, that's almost like junk material. Somebody might buy it still. Um, I'd rather list it only because if somebody were to buy it, I would hey, be happy be because it means it's useful for somebody out there, Let right? Let's put our heads together. Um, even if it's not a lot of credits, I'd rather throw it on there because if people stop listing it, then you know that 
the prices will go up, I guess, in a sense, but they might not go up. That person might want to craft, and they are unable to craft, and I'd rather support, you know, in a sense, the community by keeping on listing. So uh, if we put this U wood on here, you can see 14 of it's only going to go for 6 gold. Yeah, the low-level gathering materials don't seem to go for much. The 3 of the uh, Coral uh, Coastal Glory is 5. Um... The 10 tin ore is only 18, so very low amounts. Not insane, but uh, at the same time, not quite a bit. But even though if it go went for 18 gold, we only have 74 gold. So you can say we've had, I don't know, 75 gold in total we've made or so. Um, so even if they were to sell, those are still quite high from what I have right now. But you saw some of those collection items, they were going for one plat plus. So if they were to sell, that's a lot of gold compared to what we would earn from this stuff. Now, fish, on the other hand, they seem to go for a lot more. Look at this. Four plat for the minnows here. Now, they might not sell at that price, but if somebody's buying them, look at this forest pond leaper. Five platinum. Uh, what about the sharks? Two platinum for 46. So, sharks, not so much. Uh, blue wide mouth. 15, almost 16 platinum. If it were to sell, that is. Um, then we got this silver angel. 3.4 uh, platinum. Uh, and then what about these rare devil fish? 748. It's funny. Well, there's a lot less of these than the other fish, but they don't go as much. Uh, if I were to get seven platinum for that or even two platinum, I know it's not going to sell less than I have. Uh, that would be awesome. This thing, apparently you can sell these. Um... Because we were getting these, right? And uh, Or I got one, and I guess you need something for it. But I guess they're so common, no one buys them. Oh, yeah, ten. Yeah, look at the... Unit price is one. So, honestly, I would just say go like this. I think this is like one of those things you need the keys and blah, blah, blah. Just do that. Destroy it. I don't think it's worth it. We must banter again sometime. I can't afford the keys anyways. Um, so there you go. We, we used the auction house for the first time. We might even use it again before this episode's up because I don't know what kind of rewards we get. If we get any kind of... Um, collection items I might go ahead and use them too for whatever reasons or needs so what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna go to the banker Hello. and we're gonna go ahead and right click and deposit these four items for now just to temporary in here so they're in there for us and uh, then we're gonna start off with I think we're gonna go with our mailbox first so uh, oh my mail interface kind of screwed up here I'm supposed to cover that other one there we go. We're going to hit take all, and we're going to let it do its thing. Now, hopefully I have enough space in my inventory, because there's quite a bit of items here. Wait. did it, Was it there enough, or was it... Oh, you got to be kidding me. I think there was just enough space. Huh. Cool. Okay, so here we go. Um, we're going to have a bunch of pets. We're going to go through the mounts as well. Um, these are, you know, little rewards I've gotten over time. I think back in the day, a refer a friend was a lot different. You didn't get little credits or tokens or whatever. Instead, you would have gotten uh, just, I think you, you would end up, if you refer a friend, you might get a pet, things like that. It was a little different anyways. Um, I might have gotten them from other events or, you know, different collections or who knows. So... Here's Courage, and if Courage shows up, Courage, oh no, we lost Courage, okay, let's open, okay, there's Courage, let's left click then, there we go, there's Courage, aww, Courage is cute, aww, I want to hug it, and aww, uh, here's Radar, ah, he's got a, <laughs> he's like Courage, but he's got a little helmet on, he's a, he's a bit derpy, he's got his tongue out, you know, He's a bit special. <laughs> um, what else do we have here? Oh, we got some mounts. What about pets? Do we have any more pets? Or rather, go through pets. Okay, we got a kitty cat here, it looks like. Corpus kitty. Oh, look at it. It's got a... Ooh. 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 It's got, like, vein things on it. I guess it's supposed to be, like, a corpse of a cat or something. You know what we could probably do? Look at it. There you go. Ooh. Not all as pleasing, huh? Um, and then these are uh, okay. So miscellaneous. What else do we have in here? Any more pets? That might be it for the pets, actually. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, no, this is a pet, apparently. There you go. Oh, there he is. I'm trying to look at... He's like, no, don't look at my face. He's like some cute little, I don't know, nature thing or something. I just say nature because green and... It's called a boggling, so I guess that kind of narrows it down, too. Okay, so uh, what else do we have? We have this... Ooh, nice. Riding high. Ah, so this is one of those uh, anniversary mounts. This year it's the 6th anniversary. This was the 5th anniversary mount here. And, uh, wow. Um, you can see it's really fast. And this mount was, like I said, from the 5th anniversary. And, um... Now all my mounts that I should ever get, or buy, whatever, should also be at this speed or higher once I get something even faster. But basically the mounts scale to the highest mount speed you have, uh, basically. So that's really cool. And this year, the, the, one, the keys I've been giving out for you guys, this is the mount here. The 6th Anniversary uh, Parade uh, Tusker, I guess it's called. And, uh, oops, I didn't click it right. Let's, uh, let's get another mount here and do that again, shall we? I guess I dismounted but didn't mount. There you go. Yeah, there it is. How awesome is that thing? I love that. And it jump. it kind of goes up and down, right? The, the snail slides, you know, moves like you'd think of a mount. That's one hell of a fast elephant, huh? <laughs> but, uh, pretty cool looking either way. Um, okay, uh, what else do we have here? Oh yeah, we have the other mount I just claimed. Uh, auto scale mounts. These ones will, uh, like they say, a tune mount increases movement speed by 155% or matches the speed of your fastest mount. So these auto scale, these ones are faster mounts, but they will allow, uh, they will scale even faster if there is a faster mount out there. So let's get on the Black Tiger. Meow. So just a little black tiger. Excellent. And then we have another kind of black tiger one here. Valamari? Don't want to be rude to this pet. How do I get rid of you? No oh, companions here. There you go. And then mount. There you go. This one's pretty cool looking. It's got double tails on it. I think I like the idea of being able to, you can, in this game, you can jump uh, up and down right where you stand. Uh, some MMOs, they, you know, when you do that, the mount goes up on their hind legs and stuff, which is kind of cool. But I also like the ability to kind of jump and, you know, move around. And you can actually jump straight up and then start moving slightly. That's kind of cool. Okay, what else do we have here? You got this sharper beast here. I think this is like a big ugly mount. Oh yeah, it, it's pretty ugly looking. It's badass ugly though. It's not like uh, ugly like ooh, who would ever use that mount? This is like Godzilla ugly. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> what are you? Stop feeding off of me! Oh no! Okay, let's get out of the water here. Oh, look at this! This probably takes us to some new lands down the road. Cool. Okay, um, what else do we have here, mount-wise? I guess we can work our way back. Um, this one is called a Vox. Isn't that something from True? Brought, you, brought to you by the fine folks who work on Trove. Earned by getting a Trove class to level 20. Ah, so it's from Trove. I was like, I, I think this is something, you know, like I remember something like this. This is pretty cool, actually, because I like uh, Trove quite a bit, or I played it quite a bit back in the day anyways, and uh, I really enjoyed playing it, so it's neat to see a cute little Trove mount in here. Haha, <laughs> it's cute! Because Trove, it's like a little bird, right? So... Um... Anyways... Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, we got another mount here. This one looks a little ugly. Oh yeah, that's like a creepy ugly. Da -na 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 -na. I like the speed you move. Wee! Out of my way! 
Move it or lose it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> okay, we got a... What is this? A two-headed turtle, it looks like, from the picture? Let's see. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think this was, like, one of the first mounts. Like, collector's edition or something? I don't even remember, to be honest. It was so long ago, but cool. Okay, so, uh, looks like we've gone through our mounts. Um, you have accessories. Increase your going coin uh, loot from monsters by 10%, which is, that's cool. I don't think you get much coin from monsters. I don't think it makes it worthwhile, but I don't have an accessory this second. Uh, I got a couple buffs here. Increase your experience from all sources by 160% for two hours. I got two of those. I got the same one, but... Uh, Nordery. I don't know what that was. For, that one's for. Is that sort of like PvP or is that repetition? Earn within factions across. Oh, okay. So it's like Nordery is like faction, I guess, with uh, factions. Yeah. Um, you got these different. I won't right click these because I think I already have them. When you hover over them, they said you already have this collected. I assume just having it in my inventory collects it, right? So you can see it's a helmet. Uh, this one adds shoulders. Uh, this is another helmet here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, this one is another helmet. Oh, you got like a web around you with a spider on top. That's that's just gross. Uh, this is a trove cape. Actually, I don't think we have a cape, so let's right click the cape. We'll add that to us. That's cool, a trove cape. Um, okay, and then we got a dimension we can add. So we'll collect that and we'll, we'll visit that dimension in uh, a minute. Um, we also have uh, some treasures, which I think also add, yeah, they also add uh, basically more. Ooh, there's a bag in this one. Ooh, a 16 slot bag. You can't say no to that. Awesome. Um, so that one added a bag, and then it also added another cape here. Well, that's a pretty looking cape. That one was called um, Kiwi, Ki, and then we. <laughs> I'm like, what the? I like that kiwi. I've never seen it spelt like that. You know, like kiwi, K I W I, but this one is spelt with ki, K E E, space, we. Wait, that's not what it was called. Where did I see kiwi from? I think I've lost my mind. Where did I see the word kiwi from? <laughs> okay, you know what? I think I've lost my mind. We, we never talk about this day we just had here. I I think I've lost my mind. Okay, anyways. Um, so, yeah, we got that. And then we got another box here. Oh, uh, these are dimensional items. I think you can actually view them in a preview. Ah, here you go. Item preview. Oh, that is cool. So these are, can go in your dimension. Um, and then we have another box here. Grants you the title of the storm. So that's just a title you can give yourself. And then this one is a companion gift. Ah, uh, it's a quest, so you can unlock this. So we'll go do that. I think we can actually do that now. I'm pretty sure... This was like five years ago, but I'm pretty sure it's in here, actually, where you hand it in. Oh, yeah, there's a quest right there. Is it upstairs, downstairs? That I don't know, to be honest. I think it's downstairs. I don't know. Oh, no, it's here. Always looking to try. Uh, let's get the scorch collar. Can you preview these? Oh yeah, you can preview them. So if you can control click them. Oh, what an ugly little hound there. Ooh. Oh man, it gets even uglier. <laughs> uh, wow, you're one ugly beast. Uh, I think I'd rather go for this guy. He's more like a badass ugly. The rest of them are just ugly. Nature's Rejects. <laughs> um, okay, so let's go back out here. And uh, let's see what we have in here. Uh, so we have a Tabard gift box. So I'm assuming that Neocrong sound again. We have a Tabard. Um, this goes over your chest piece, I guess. So there you go. Cool. And you can X there to see what we had before. And then, uh, this looks like a bunch of dimensional decorations again. Ooh, that is beautiful. That is actually very beautiful. So this is nice. I don't know if the devs made this specially, but they, they probably had this somewhere in the world before. This is the cool thing about dimensions, right? Because there's content they can add over time. Like, let's say, um, 
I'm not saying you can get one of these statues for your dimension, but those are cool looking statues or this this whole statue is one thing I think, right? So it'd be kind of cool that you can earn that entire thing eventually as uh, a dimensional item and they can do that because they already have it made or this statue for example, you know um, They can give it to the players as maybe a special reward quest chain whatever but they can give you something that they've pre-made. Uh, some of it will require work because some of it might be baked in the world and whatnot. But if they have the models and effort done, they don't have to redo it per se. They can basically put it in and, you know, let the users use it within their dimensions and things like that. So I think dimensions do add awesome, you know, it's like a housing thing. But they have all these models that they've already done. So it's not like they have to, you know, spend thousands and thousands of hours you know, redoing every single item in the game or whatever, model-wise. Look at the view distance! Wow! Is that where we were? I wonder if that's where we were or that's somewhere else when we started. I don't know what this is. I was down there fishing around here. I think this... It looked like there was a gate, so it must take us to a new place. And that, I think, is the new island. Um, look at the view distance. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's one of the new uh, contents. Yeah. I think this is this place here. Very cool. Okay, so uh, have we gone through everything? We've gone through everything except we didn't take out our new pet. So I guess we can check that ugly pet out. Oh, left click. I always keep right clicking. Oh, he's on fire. I don't think we saw that. That's cool. And uh, we didn't apply these to our weapon. So our weapon itself, you can apply this to your weapon and you'll get different little just little f effects on it so that one does a bit of green and I guess this one will do some kind of air touch so I don't know some kind of air effect to it I guess actually it looks like more of a lightning effect but there you go huh air touches your weapon oh and lightning oh okay it's a lightning one. Okay, that makes more sense. I was like, that looks more like, like you know, something that shouldn't be air, but whatever. But that, that looks kind of correct, actually. So there you go. Um, that's actually really cool. I don't know what that symbol means, but uh, I so did not mean to put that on. We don't have a helmet yet, right? So. Cool. Now, we have that tabard, right? And this is how you flip it, but... Here's the question, how do I... Oh, here it is, wardrobe. Oh, that is so cool. Does this cost me? Oh, to unlock new wardrobe ones it cost. Is it 10 platinum per wardrobe or does it expand, I wonder? No wardrobe and wardrobe set one. Oh, that is cool. That's a really nice wardrobe thing. And they, they're not, you know, being mean or evil about it either. You know, they could they could have been like uh, each item you put on costs. <laughs> but uh, that, that's pretty cool. That is awesome. So we know how the wardrobe works now, too, so that's awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, well we're going to go and bank some of these items for now. Just so we can make room for our next batch of items. So well. after all that, there's other items you get. Um, of course, I've shown you this before, and I'll show you again. Uh, you do have your daily rewards calendar here, which I think is... Oh, I think it only shows up when you have it. It shows up on the right here, too, if there's one up. Which you get random daily things. Oh, contains or wooden plants appropriate for your level. Cool. So, of course, you get your daily rewards, as you see here. And uh, then there's one more place in the store, which most people probably have something there. Which is, uh, I got this one. Contains a uh, random selection of equipment, potions, runes, and currencies with bonus chance at... Uh, service level. I think you get this every 10 levels actually, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna just claim all this We're just gonna go crazy claim it all There we go and uh, Oh look at this. Oh, no, this is gonna spam badly So this is loyalty stuff, you know, like how long you've been a veteran How many months of loyalty basically to the game? So if we open our bag here um, We have some potions here, I guess 
Increases the experience gain from all sources by 40%. Increases your nor ter nor nor hi, I say it wrong every time, I apologize. N nordery uh, gain by all sources by 40%. Uh, unlock a, a rapidus. Oh, unlock a permanent rune from an item. So I guess uh, later on you can socket items and you can remove the rune from that. Uh, this gives you increased token and currency gain from all sources by 40%. Uh, you've already collected a wardrobe appearance, stylish, uh, bower, bowler, bowler, helmet, blah, blah, blah. So this looks like this, I guess. <laughs> Don't I look fabulous? Um, another dimension item. Oh, that's cool. Another key. Can I actually see the key? No, you can't right click. You can't uh, preview the key. <laughs> we'll look at that in a minute. And uh, did we look at the... Oh, yeah, we, there's the tree. And then we got another mount. So we can check that out. And uh, here you go. This is a 110% speed mount. So back in the day, that was probably a, a really sexy mount. Yeah, I said the word sexy. And if you want to get a mount, you can get them... Actually, I think you can get them in-game. Let's, let's go over here, actually. Uh, P for abilities, was it? No, that was something else character I guess it's under ah here it is uh, which one are we gonna use let's use the bird for now uh oh no what's going on with me Final Fantasy um, ah here they are you can buy them in game now you can buy them from the store itself but I just thought I'd show you where you would have normally used to go and get them uh, you'd buy your your pets here your mounts and they only cost two platinum You saw what I sold on the auction house now a lot of that hasn't sold yet But I'm sure some of it will sell over time. So this two platinum shouldn't be so bad to make but um, Yeah, so the starting mounts which are 60% uh, You'd get these now. That's 60% movement speed. So that means that hundred and what was it 40 no hundred and That's way faster than I thought it was 155% I thought that was like, basically, 100% means your 100% movement speed, then 55% faster. But no, no, no. That's even faster. That's better than all the mounts you can buy here for the Platinum. So that's that 6th that, uh, anniversary mount is godly. It, it, it honestly really is a godly mount. I'm happy I own it. Um, oh, you can also buy you. mounts from the store itself. Um... And you can you can buy the same ones that you just saw there through here as well uh, If you like to so this is a little quicker I guess method of doing it. So I guess hundred and fifty five percent is the fastest Yeah, it looks like it. So basically I have the fastest mount speed all the time in the game. That is awesome I didn't realize that was the case, but uh, that's nice I mean, I do kind of miss old days where you kind of have to progress and get a faster mount, but at the same time it's nice to have a decently fast mount and uh, lets us move around quite decently too around the game. So uh, that's awesome, and that's that's what we're giving away to you guys and girls. Um, okay, so uh, we got a few more things before we finish here. Uh, this is taking up a lot of time. Uh, these are dimension items, I think. Yeah, so these are all dimension items. So we can go through them. There was the tree you saw before. A vase of some sort. Oh, a weapon rack. Some sort of basket or whatever. Bread. <laughs> uh, a vase again or something. And some flowers. Cool. And then... What is this? This is... Oh, this is um something we can just sell or whatever or use. It's just an artifact. Uh, and then we have another set of items here. They give us... <laughs> Chirks are giving us a individual set. But uh, there you go. That's that set of armor. Awesome. And then we have this here, which, holy crap, gives you a bunch of items plus a bunch more. Oh, wow. So you get a really cool weapon here. And you get this goes up every 10 levels. And I guess you can lesser wisdom boost, huh? I guess there's more you can get for it. Meh, whatever. Um, and then you get this one here. Uh, so you can do this again at level 20, I guess. So this kind of helps you out. Uh, requires an item level between 1 and 65, usable on chest or shoulders. Oh, so this is like, uh, socketing an item, I guess. That's very cool. 
And then I think that was about it. I thought there was a couple of things I got from there, but... Uh, Oh, they were marks and stuff. Okay. Okay, so I quickly was going to show you Dimensions, so I might as well go... Uh, you know what? I'm thinking, hmm. You know what? We're going to have a dedicated episode next to Dimensions. So if you're hoping for me to explore the world or level, well, we're going to explore. We're going to explore Dimensions. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think we're going to just have a dedicated episode to Dimensions for the next episode. I think that would be fun. Something to check out and see what there's out there. And uh, then we'll continue on from there, and I'll bank some of this, and uh, I'll sell uh, this item here. But uh, I think this was an awesome episode. And once again, don't forget the pin comment for entering the contest below. Sit. And uh, congratulations to anyone who won. And if you won, let me know. I it'd be awesome. I know a lot of people sign up for these contests and they never say thanks or anything. I'm not asking for a thanks. I just want to know, did you win, you know? Uh, but uh, either way... Um, Thank you so much for watching, and uh, ooh, almost four plat for that. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and uh, we'll see you uh, wonderful people next time.